right, welcome. This is M Dog, <clears throat> and I thought we would do a, a video on bream fishing here in Volkov. It has been a while since we've had a uh, a really good spot here, and as I after I bring this fish in, um, well, I say that at least I haven't been aware of a really good spot recently. So let's bring this one in, and then I'll show you a couple things. Um, first of all. You'll notice this video is at night, and, and that's one thing to notice about the bream. It seems like more than ever before, I'm seeing a huge difference in the bream that we're catching in the overnight hours versus what we're seeing during the day. Uh, now, I do recommend during the day changing up your bait a little bit. Of course, at night, we're doing three rods all with pea porridge on them, and uh, I'll get into the ground bait and, and such in a, in a moment here but during the daytime you may want to try things like um, red worm or um, uh, even even cottage cheese or pearl barley try some other baits according to what spot you're in so first of all let's talk about where we are coordinates wise we're at 115 116 and if i'm showing you on visually on this map that's going to be somewhere over here in f5 and I want to point something out to you. Uh, right over there, if you've been playing this game for a while, that was a spot, I think it was right before that area. Anyway, somewhere right around there for a, a quite a while. Um, in fact, I think that spot is when we first started using pea porridge. Uh, around that time was when we were switching from garlic dough to pea porridge for bream, along with the other normal bream baits and so you may remember that spot uh, casting out towards I'll show you what you're aiming at from that spot over there you were really aiming at the boat dock up there but um, you also from that spot over there would sometimes throw one or more rod sort of in this direction sort of southeast from that spot and that brings us back to where we're fishing tonight and it is basically the same spot just coming from the other island so we're on this island you do have to take a boat to get to this island it's one of the unfortunate things when we were fishing from uh, these spots over here you could take the ferry over without a boat cross this land bridge and then come up to here and then that's basically across from where we are now um, the other thing is some people have reported that they've had some pretty good success up this way and then basically casting north which if you think about it like if you come up here and cast north you're right back into the spot that we were casting at from the island over there so even though this is for me a new spot quote unquote it's actually using a very similar place that we have um, it's a very similar spot in, in some ways to what we've been fishing for a while now here at Volkov. So let's look at what we're fishing with. Um, greetings, Amar. So I do have the uh, one really expensive rod, the Bunison. If you've seen my other videos, I've been using this. The reason why I use this is it has the plus two to loop rig. And we are using a loop rig um, with the feeder and so not only let me look at my skills real quick not only do we have points in loop rig the bonus and rod gives us plus two so it's like we have five points in loop rig and if you read this it's increasing our chance of catching a trophy and making money off of bream fishing honestly is all about the trophies right you can make a living off of catching two kilogram bream off and on all day all throughout the day but your your sizable boost in silver income and excitement i might add comes from occasionally pulling in that bream trophy so let's pull this one in and see this one feels like a little better than the one we caught uh, when we first started the video this might be a two kilogram 2.3 so that's good at least we got a decent one while we're making this video and let me pull these in and then we will talk about the ground bait because that's sort of the other uh we'll talk about hook size and ground bait and all that so um let's see what we have this is the bonus and rod i was telling you about 
So we catch a slightly higher percentage of trophies on this rod, I would say. We still catch trophies on the other two, which are, um, I believe I'm using Model 1 feeders on the other two with gold 80 reels. And there's also a gold 80 reel on this on this rig as well. Obviously for bream, that's overkill, but uh, it's a nice bream. But those are the reels that I use when I'm feeder fishing, pretty much for anything. Um, gone are the days of trying to get lower quality gear to match the fish you're fishing for. I think we've, I think as a community, we either overreacted to that idea or things have changed. I don't, I don't think that that is actually a better way to fish at this point. I think it's much more about line and leader size, not about what type of equipment you're using. And there's an undersized bream. So let's get all these back out there again. And we will ignore the fact that we're catching one on the third rod again so that I can talk a little bit more about our gear before we wrap this video up. So you'll notice we're using eyed mix for ground bait. I've done a lot, a little bit of testing between eyed mix and bream mix. I've used a lot more bream mix. I was hearing reports from people though that they were getting a higher percentage of trophy bream and then the occasional trophy eyed off of the eyed mix. So last night I switched to eyed mix and I did catch a couple of trophy eyes along with one trophy bream. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with the eyed mix, but for the ground bait, you either wanna go with eyed mix or bream mix, I would say, unless you've got sort of a, a unique mix that you use. And I know some people do. Um, we're using size eight of the Berserk Ultra Series hooks, the S8s. And of course, beef porridge, especially during the night, that's what you wanna go do. Let me show you the Model 1, and this is a chance for me to talk about the line we're using. This is a Model 1 feeder, same size hook, same bait, still using eye mix. The one thing that I didn't talk about before though is we're using fluorocarbon line. I'm gonna to try to do an updated video on leaders because um, just as our community, as a community, our understanding of leaders continues to grow, I think, from the changes that were made a couple months ago. But I think you either wanna be using pure fluorocarbon line, which is a little pricey, or you can use a fluorocarbon leader. And the thing that you just want to kind of match the size up, I don't think you want to go any, any larger than 9.7. In fact, we could probably go a little smaller and that might even increase our results a little bit. But that's just kind of where I've landed is that 9.7. And because I lost a hook, I think I'm, yeah, I'm using size six hook over here and it's, it's been doing fine. I, I like eight, some people use 10. Um, I think we all sort of have our different opinions on hook sizes with uh, different fish species for bream. I tend to land around eight, trying to encourage the larger bream, but still not having a hook that's too, too big uh, for the smaller mouths of the bream. So let's see what we have here. Probably another undersized bream. We did not get that uh, magical moment of making a video and catching a trophy, but um, you did get to see me pull in some bream and hopefully this video has been helpful in terms of giving you ideas. It, it, it is, um, what did we have? We, we got a couple cafe orders. We ended up with just under 600 silver and maybe three hours of fishing last night. So because of the cafe orders, that helped us push us over the edge. Obviously, it wouldn't have been that high without the three trophies, two eye trophies and the bream trophy. I haven't caught a lot of eye trophies, so I was surprised at the, um, the really um, increased income I saw from eye trophies and compared to bream trophies. But... So that was kind of nice. But uh, anyway, let's pull this last fella in and then we'll wrap this video up. And then I can say hello to everyone that's uh, gathering in the Twitch chat. Man, the fish just keep coming. This is a good time of day. Like I told you before, overnight and then up until 9 or 10 a.m., you'll see a pretty good, um, uh, pretty good bite frequency in this spot and and then in the spots near here as well the reason why i told you about the other two spots near here is it's it's helpful to rotate spots if you fish a spot dry you need to have some backup plans so kind of move move around a little bit um and in, in chat i'm seeing i think more and more people are getting excited about this spot we haven't had or i haven't been aware of a really nice bream spot in, in a little bit so this has been fun it's been really fun. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. Um, 
let me know if you have any questions and I think we're, we're gonna work on next or relatively soon is trying to put something like a, a video on, on leaders and what we've noticed with leaders here uh, soon so be looking for